Welcome back to the Gloves Are Off. It's our chance right now to sound off, and I know Andrew has a really good one for you guys. Andrew, you won the over-under, so here's your chance to spout off on anything you'd like. So on last Saturday, we had 1,200 people come out and watch Red Dogs Midget Football. It was a great game, 44-8 in final. So now we move to this weekend, it's playoff time. Red Dogs are first seed in the, in the uh, Edmonton League. They have to go on the road. I don't understand this. Like, it's beautiful weather here, their first seed. We just hosted a great game, and they're more than likely going to have to go on the road for a playoff game in Edmonton against Edmonton. So, so let's just kind of explain to people at home who are watching why they may not understand why it took five years for the Lloyd Mr. Red Dogs to actually host a game. It's all because of the field. And, that's, and it's a good thing to say because like, the field sometimes is still frozen. You look at a couple of years ago, we were still having snow at this time of year, let alone trying to play a football game. So that's why. Edmonton has the, you know, the AstroTurf fields, the heated fields, they can prepare them for our games. But this is a different scenario in that maybe it's time to start bringing these teams here. And then maybe you're in the same boat. Like, well, you win. Two hour drive, too. Like, it's not like that's you're traveling like, like eight hours or something ridiculous. It's a two hour drive. Come on down. And as a coach, imagine they told your women's lacrosse team saying, hey, you know what? No more home games for you guys. How would it feel for your players knowing that they're constantly on the road? They can't play in front of their fans. They can't play in front of family, all that sort of stuff. And then you, you lose to, losing kids, right? Like kids don't want to play on the road constantly. They want to play home games. They, the kids can't wait till the home game here on March or May 14th. Well, we proved too that also the border city, yes, it is a hockey city, but the football kids oh, in this city, football is ridiculous here. Mm -hmm. There is a great standard of excellence when it comes to the teams here. So maybe who knows that they might... If they, they don't, they I, don't like, I, I don't understand it. Probably get a little bit more respect. All right, so this is all the time we have for tonight's episode of The Gloves Are Off. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.